hi welcome to my channel if you're new here don't forget to hit subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber coming to check me out i want to say hey boo how you doing i hope you have the most blessed day anyways don't know if i said it if you're new click subscribe nobody's gonna be mad at you okay i appreciate it anyways so i am doing a seafood boil i don't want to call it a tutorial because it's my first time doing it but I'm showing you how I did it and it's not really how to either because I didn't know how to. I had just went online and watched a couple of videos and just threw it together how I thought I was supposed to do it. So this came about because my oldest daughter wanted to do a um, mukbang. And so we were sitting around watching mukbang videos and I was like, dang, you know, people are tearing that seafood up. It looks good. Not that mukbangs are exclusively seafood, but I guess you'd know that if you watch them. But a lot of the ones we're, we ended up watching were seafood boils and that stuff was looking good. So when she said she wanted to do one, she said she wanted a seafood boil. I was all for that. But, um, I don't normally make seafood because my husband's allergic to seafood and like, I'm just really, I just don't want to have to go through the effort of extra cleaning and extra caution and stuff like that because I don't want him to have an, a reaction or for him to be uncomfortable in the house with me cooking seafood. But, you know, I wasn't going to pass this up. Like, boy, you can go across the street to your brother's house or whatever you want to do and need to do because we're going to do this. So, yeah, we did that. We went to the store and we picked up some king crab legs and some snow crab legs. And I was looking for some pretty, pretty big shrimp which they didn't have and I was also looking for lobster tails which they didn't have and I went to Stater Brothers and you would suspect a store like that to have that but they didn't whatever that's fine maybe it's out of season I really like I said don't cook seafood so I don't know about you know seasonal foods or whatever or seasonal seafoods whatever um so I got what was you know the basic thing um crab legs and shrimp just regular basic shrimp or whatever so don't come at me talking about they're not tiger shrimps and they're not large and this and the other they are what was available to me okay all right so there's that anyways um so originally it was supposed to be a mukbang it was supposed to be me and my daughter uh, but we had guests over at the time too so my nephew wants to come on in the video and he came in the video so technically it's a mommy auntie and me mukbang and it's still fun to watch <laughs> my daughter I guess didn't know what she was signing up for so you're just gonna have to watch the video to see what she considered a mukbang to be because like I was tearing it up like I I had no clue that a seafood boil was gonna be so damn delicious and it was it was delicious but that's neither here nor there that's for a whole separate video um I will be uploading it in a couple of minutes so go check it out but as for this video right here I am just showing you what I did and how I did my um seafood boil my very first seafood boil and I'm so proud of how it turned out everyone who had some enjoyed it also I don't want y'all thinking that um I didn't like I was greedy with it you know I gave some to my mother-in-law my nephew my youngest whoever was at the house had some so or she wasn't even at the house she was across the street at my brother-in-law's house whatever yes my brother-in-law lives directly across the street with my sister-in-law and their kids and um we usually have a lot of people over here because we're all so close and for whatever reason everybody comes here that's fine anyways um yeah so it was delicious and i was so excited to do it and i j just want to share with you guys the process of making it and um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video like i said if i haven't already said it if you're new here hit subscribe also if you're like a king or a queen of seafood boils and you have some tips for me please leave a comment and let me know if i did something wrong let me know if i could have done something better let me know or you know anything i'm just so open to receiving some advice and some tips and i just am so appreciative that you stopped by and picked my video thank you thank you you deserve a blessed day too hunty all right all right bye. hey all right so today i am going to try to make a seafood boil my daughter wants to do a mukbang and you know what they were looking so good with all their crab and shrimps and corn and potatoes which is my favorite i think i'll probably enjoy that part more than anything else um but yeah so we're gonna do a seafood boil 
for my baby who wanted one for mukbang and i've never made a seafood boil before i don't know if i said that a million times already or not but um saying it again so we went to the store and got some crab legs this is king crab right here sharp look at that look at that Ooh. I'm really excited to try this but anyways I'm gonna be rinsing it off cleaning it off first got a couple pieces of that I'm gonna be cooking that up so I'm gonna rinse that off I know there are people out there who don't rinse their meat I'm gonna need y'all to start actually before you try and feed me anything let the water run over that and then we've got our snow crabs these are actually pretty fun to look at yeah they need rinsing off too so we're gonna be doing that doing that holla 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 getting all this gunk off of there you see that that doesn't look it comes right off that means that don't belong we're gonna be rinsing that off cleaning that right on off and then we'll get started. I'll be back. Okay, and next, our, hi babe, our red potatoes that we gotta rinse off too. Again, rinse your meat off and all your potatoes and all that or whatever. Don't just be throwing them in the pot. Don't. If you do, just throw them in the pot. Let me know so I know not to eat your stuff. Okay, that's it. All right, you guys probably don't see very well all that crap. Just dump it out. That came off of my crab legs. There goes a big little piece of crab right there. And some more. This is why you need to rinse them off. Okay, because there is a lot of stuff on there that you don't you don't want that in your boil. I know that. Even though I've never made one, I know that you need to clean and rinse it off. Look at that. Y'all wanna be eating that? Let me know. And we're also gonna add some sausage to this. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna add that at the beginning with these potatoes. And then I also have my corn that I'm gonna be putting in. But first, we need to go on ahead and add this to our boiling water. That's key, that's essential. Wash my hands. You can see, I'm adding that in. I'm going to stir it. Add a little more water than that, but I guess it boiled down, so yeah. Add the rest of it. Whoa. Whoa. And in the same time, with my scary behind, yeah, I'm gonna add my potatoes and my sausage and my corn. And I'm doing it like this because I just I'm not trying to be splashed with water or none of that. I would just rather see not have to drop it in with my hands. Okay, I would rather not have to do that. This is what kitchen tools are for. I'm gonna crack open my corn. I pretty much do the same thing with the corn. I'm gonna put like six pieces of corn here. I love corn. I could probably pit the whole bag in there but I'm not going to because I would like room more room okay I'll add two more Whoop. Whoop. there we go and then I will let that go ahead and cook for about 15 minutes all right and we are back we are back I'm gonna take this off okay yeah that's perfect 
Let me see. I'm extra cautious about things. The corn's looking good. I think my potatoes are soft. Yeah, they're good. They're getting there. They're soft enough. So now we are going to insert crab leg. Do, 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 do. Meat side down. That's this side down. Ooh, I'm happy my pot is big enough for this. I was worried at first, but I don't have to be worried. That's good. Let me see. I can't get that in some water. Yes. Yes. All right. We're going to climb that for about. Oops. Stop. Looking here, anyways. Okay. About timer. Now, I'm gonna add in these crab legs. Bottom down. It's too hot for me. Yes, put those in there. And I have one more to put in. So let's see. Where is this bad boy gonna go? To get good. This is the importance of keeping big pots. Let's get those in there. And don't think that I forgot about my prongs. shrimps to the top because they really just need to steam so Arr, get in there Arr. 